please like and subscribe our channel for trending news videos. Former Trump administration officials, from Comey to Cohn. A growing number of people have left the Trump administration in just over a year, a group that includes former press secretary Sean Spicer, FBI director James Comey and chief strategist Steve Bannon. Some, such as Comey, were fired by President Trump, while others resigned for a variety of reasons. Read on for a look at some of the staffers who have left since Trump took office. Gary Cohn is resigning and set to leave his post as National Economic Council Director, Fox News confirmed March 6. Gary has been my chief economic advisor and did a superb job in driving our agenda, helping to deliver historic tax cuts and reforms and unleashing the American economy once again, Trump said in a statement. He is a rare talent, and I thank him for his dedicated service to the American people. Cohn, who served as President Trump's chief economic advisor since the beginning of the administration, has reportedly been discussing with the president his transition out of the White House for several weeks. Cohn opposed Trump's planned tariffs on imports of steel and aluminum, first announced last week, and reportedly tried getting the president to change course. White House officials told Fox News that Cohn's departure date is to be determined, but it's expected to be a few weeks from now. Over the summer, Cohn reportedly drafted a resignation letter, following the president's response to the violence in Charlottesville, VA. Roberta Jacobson Roberta Jacobson, the U.S. ambassador to Mexico, said in a March 1 note that she would be resigning from her post in the spring. Her resignation, which she said would take effect on May 5, comes amid strained relations between the two countries. She did not specify why she will be leaving her post but said on Twitter that she is in search of other opportunities. I have come to the difficult decision that it is the right time to move on to new challenges and adventures, Jacobson wrote in her note. This decision is all the more difficult because of my profound belief in the importance of the U.S. Mexico relationship and knowledge that it is at a crucial moment. A career diplomat, Jacobson previously served as Assistant Secretary of State for Western Hemisphere Affairs and is seen as having a deep understanding of the region and the Mexico-U.S. relationship. She said she has spent more than 31 years in government service. White House Communications Director Hope Hicks is resigning, Fox News confirmed on February 28.